Bloop, bloop. Let's try to be a little bit better. And did I click your battery? Yep. Ready and go. Of course. Hi. Hi. I'm Noelle. I'm Leslie. And we are. And the games. The games. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. So here we are, stuck in the North Pole. Yes. Yet another day. And I'm in tank top. I was like sweaty. Oh. Well, yeah. Well, we're in we're in heat. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot inside. It's cold outside. And my fountain's iced over. It's got ice on it. So yeah, here we go again with another day of bad weather. Yeah. And there's no effing way my butt's getting in my truck, sliding all over to get to the destination to go work out. Okay, but I will say, destination is warm. Yeah. Okay, so the gym that I'm going to from. the posing room. But yeah, that's cool. I think that they want the nipples out. They want they want their nipples to be like fully like here they are. The posing room is no heat. Yeah. They want everything to just be tight and tight. tight. Go ahead. Um but the gym I was going to before, it's it's really like open and mm -hmm. it's freezing. I, I think I out. think they want to save money, but Mm -hmm. it, it, it's just too cold, too cold. I can't. Mm -hmm. So when I go to destination, I'm like, oh, this is great. I can take my sweatshirt off and I just go, I love yeah. it. Yeah, it's like. And I don't sweat, I glow, so I can glow a little bit. Oh my God, you are not one of those I'm a that glower. say that. I'm a glower. <laughs> yeah, well, in my cycling days, everybody would, you know, be riding next to me and we'd be going really fast, fast, like 20 miles an hour, and they'd be like, why aren't you sweating? I'm like, I am. Like, if. And I sweat down here. Like, I don't know. Like, I just glow. Because you pee and sweat on the person behind you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, whoosh. Yeah, so I'm just not really a big sweater. I'll have you know, I was driving back home from McKinney. And I passed, you know, McKinney is really big for those groups of bicyclers yes, that I annoyingly get no, on the road. You better be careful what you say. Annoyingly? No. Ride they have, on the they road. They the same ride as a car. Annoyingly, no. We're oh yeah. <laughs> we're gonna butt heads. Okay. Had How many people agree with me that those bicyclers are okay, annoyingly th those are, in the road? Those are mothers, fathers, you know, friends, so husbands. <laughs> you put no life on I've had people try to run me off the road. I don't want to run people off the road. I'm just saying. I've had people annoying. deliberately try to run me off the road and mm -hmm. curse, and that is not okay. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a no. no. I don't curse, and I don't try to run people off the road. It's still annoying though, but. I can't now look at a group of bicyclers without laughing my ass off. Because <laughs> from yeah. that, from our episode, was there our first episode? Yeah. I'm um, just like, so it kind of breaks up the annoyingness. Because I'm driving and I'm like, if, if something See, wet hits my windshield, I think it would have to <laughs> stick you on a bike and put you in a group and have you feel what it feels like to have cars be annoyed by you, and uh -huh. then you would have a major respect. See, there's a reason why I don't stick my ass on a bike. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't want us to get hate mail. It's a big deal. I mean, they can, yeah. they can bring all the hate mail they want. All they can do is DM don't hate us. me because I am pro. -cycles. Don't hate her, hate me. Yeah, but you'll have just as much people. I will leave like, her. Um... <laughs> no, yeah, go ahead. Because <laughs> there's just gonna be just as many people yeah. that feel the same way I do. So, and that's unfortunate. It's sad. That makes it sad. Yeah. But I don't want people running people over. Right. But they need to think about our first episode. And then you'll laugh. It breaks up the frustration of them yeah. being in front of you, taking up half the road. Yeah. Really what it is, is the cities need to make spots that's a little more accessible and safer for people to do that. Exactly. Because obviously people are going to do it. Right. So it's like really not y'all's fault. It's the city's fault. Yes. But still, it's annoying when you're in a hurry. All right. Next subject. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we were talking about working out, so yeah, now I'm going to have to, in order to stay consistent, do a lot of my workouts so you, at home. Are you scared to drive to the gym? It's just too cold. It's too much the gym food. Warm. Huh? The gym is warm, but it takes a lot of, I mean, literally my day is so jam-packed. Gotcha. And it's kind of like when you get there, the weather affects me a lot. It's like getting out of the truck, I mean, I know it sounds silly, but getting out of the truck, freezing my ass out, getting to the gym, unpacking the 15 layers of clothing that I have on right. to be able to work out, get all sweaty, you get your workout, you pile 15 layers of clothing on, you leave, you're sweaty, even with 15 layers of clothes, and I'm just like, this sucks. Yeah. So I'll just be in the warmth of my own house having to create my workout so, and deal with it. So you do have a kind of two choices. Make, you make it work. You have to have consistency. So even if it's if not it's important, you find a way. You find a way. Plus, I have to babysit my pool pump. So yeah, it's kind of funny you <laughs> saying that. <laughs> 
But I mean, that's the thing with uh, our first challenge was about creating consistency. Mm -hmm. So even though it's not what I want from a workout, it's okay because I'm still doing a workout. So exactly, that's what you have to do sometimes when you can't do anything. I can't do anything about the weather. So it's kind of like, okay, well, what can I do? Well, I can control my consistency. Right. Get your butt up. Get your dumbbells out. Yeah, you start your day with something that you don't want to do, and you've conquered, mm -hmm. you've conquered something. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's the number one question we get asked a lot by y'all, too, is, oh, that's what we need to do. How much time we have? Right, five minutes. Okay. We actually that, got the, the we, viewer. Well, we actually got a video question, which mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie, kind of scared me because I was like... <laughs> She's I was like, really scared okay, to push play, okay, okay, but okay. I appreciate that it was not X-rated, and it was, actually, it was a legitimate question, so thank mm -hmm. you for sending that in. Do you remember what the name is? Uh, no, but I'll, put, I'll post it in the comments. Mm -hmm. um, and he was asking, he was like, oh, you look, you look strong, you know, you look mm -hmm. like a professional athlete, you know, in your opinion, is it possible for anybody to look like you or be a professional? Mm -hmm. And I, of course, said, you know, 100%, like, it, it is your... If it's your desire, if it's something that you want, it's possible. You have to put the work in. Mm -hmm. And from the amateur side of it, like I personally don't see where I'm at now versus if I was a professional mm -hmm. any different. Mm -hmm. Because all it is is you're just gonna go against harder people. So it's mm -hmm. like I, I'm really okay with where I'm at now. I put in work day in, day out regardless, mm -hmm. and yeah. it's a lifestyle. To me, it's a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I, I don't need a title of pro yeah to feel yeah to feel like that so to answer that person's question is of course you can you can do anything to if it depends on what your definition of I want to be a pro athlete I think they're right. just wanting to be athletic right so there's a difference between wanting to be a professional athlete and wanting to just look like an athlete comes down to dedication you have to have you have to be disciplined yeah you, there's a lot of things that people don't understand when you set out to be a pro athlete it's not all necessarily all the healthiest. No. It's not necessarily okay. I want to be athletic. You're what you're doing is you're you're finding a sport. And sometimes where you're going against genetics. You, know? you are sometimes yeah. you're going. You're, you're fighting genetics. Your body does not want to be lean. They don't they're that that lean all the time. Right. Yeah. But you're also going against the criteria, like professional football players. They're pushing their bodies to the limit. Yeah. But they do that for that status of an elite athlete. You right. want to be considered at the top. And you work your butt off and you put your body through a lot of crap so that you can be the best of the best. Right. But it's a personal thing. And yes, sometimes you can make a lot of money at it, but sometimes you can't. Right. I, money shouldn't be the your reason no. of doing it. And mm -hmm. if you look at bot let me cut you off, but if you look at bodybuilding, people see a picture of you on stage, that is literally hour to hour. Like you don't look like that all the time. No. And it is not healthy for your body. It is the most unhealthy thing in the world. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not something that you should attain to It's look not like. a beauty pageant. Yeah. No, no, no. It's it's bad. Yeah. Yeah. So go ahead. Oh no, it's okay. Uh, and then most people they don't understand it because they're informed uh, wrongly by coaches or people. And really, you can be athletic and you can look a certain way, which is what I always tell people. But in order to be what they would consider the best of the best, and that means you're competing in it's your actual. Job. Yeah. It's your job. It's your job to do <clears throat> X Y Z. Yeah. So it's not just bodybuilding. I mean, it's any sport. Uh, crossfitting. You know, they have pro crossfitters. They have pro swimmers. They have pro football players. Pro basketball players. Pro bodybuilders. Any sport nowadays, you have where you can legitimately go into it and you do the. You know, you have to do the work and you go to be the elite. Right. So when I started it, I really had no intentions of being top of the top, but that's always what I try to do. My only intention was, oh, I finally found something that you know does what I love, lifting weights. Yeah. I had no clue about what it was about, none. And my first coach really didn't tell me a lot, except for that it was a really dark sport, which I didn't know what he was talking about. But it, I told myself, I'll give myself you know one year, and just, just to get on stage. Right. But I didn't know like how, like once I started finding out about it, and I'm like, this is this is perfect for me. Yeah. It combines everything that I love. The only thing I didn't like was pushing your body to the limit. Right. But then even that was a challenge to me. I had no idea I was going to turn pro in two competitions. That was just my own up here. Right. 
I mean, my own mentality. But then I also understood that once I got my pro card, once I'm considered best of the best, once it's like I'm registered as a professional athlete, then it was up to me to turn it into a business. Yeah. The pro card doesn't make you a business. You have to utilize it. Yes. But being a pro pro bodybuilder is not the only thing I've worked my whole life for. I'm also the top on yoga and Reiki. Reiki. I'm at like a third. Yeah, I'm a third level master. I mean, people are most of you don't know what that is unless you're in Reiki. Right. So I've always struggled to go to the top, not out of vanity, but that's just the way my brain works. So back to that, you know, that nice gentleman. Yes. Yeah, you can do. You can look however you want to look. If you set your goals toward, I want to look like a swimmer. I want to look like a yoga person. I want to look like a bodybuilder. You can do that. That's fine. You can look, but if you want to be the best of the best and can compete, you got That's gotta different. Be, it's got to be night and day. It's oh, yeah. different. Oh, one all all day. Yeah. It's different. Yeah. And we see that all the time with girls in the gym that there, somebody will tell them you should do you know, bikini bodybuilding and blah, 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 blah. And they legitimately think that they're going into a beauty pageant. Right. And they don't care. You know, they're just like, oh, I'll just get up on stage. And, I'll, and it's just to make me feel good. And I'm like, you are in the wrong sport. Right. And it's also <laughs> like just to look a certain way. If you're not already happy with yourself, you're never going to be happy at any weight or any mm -hmm. aesthetically yeah, you know, with the way you look. Because yeah. to be a pro, you have to. You all it is is that you have the least amount of flaws that right. day on that stage. Yeah. That's all the sports are. Whenever you're competing against someone else, it's really not who won. It's who came in with the least amount of flaws. Right. And that's pretty much in any sport. And one of some things it comes down to genetics. So mm -hmm. there's a yeah, and I have good genetics. That that was on my side. I mean, my brother was a strong man. I mean, it is in our family. But then you still have to meet the criteria. Right. Exactly. If you're a pro football player, you still have to meet the criteria. If yeah. you're a swimmer or a cyclist, you still got to know what you're doing to meet the criteria. Right. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. Look, my body decided it wasn't okay to do it. Yeah, because you broke two I hips. Two, two hips. hips. How does a person break two and hips? And bodybuilding, I don't know how far my career, if you like to call that, will go because I don't know that I can grow muscle. Like, I can get really lean, but, you know, just, but it's fun just to push like, yourself. Push yourself, yeah. And be okay mm -hmm. to fail. And it's yeah. okay. It's okay. If I'm not the best at it, it's okay. But mm -hmm. I enjoy it right now. Yeah. And you have right now, it's like I always tell people, if, if you want to do bodybuilding just to do it, that's fine. But be prepared to spend money. Right. It is oh, not a so, hobby. It's so, it's so, it's so. No. I mean, your hair, your your makeup, your outfit, so everything. On. I mean, everything mm -hmm. is. Yeah. Be prepared to spend money. And so don't call it a hobby. Yeah. Because it really makes people who are doing it seriously, it, it yeah. pisses people off. Yeah. So you, what you do is you just say, this is what I want to do right now. <laughs> right. And be prepared to spend money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I have a random, so we have just a couple of minutes, but I have a... So you're going to ask me a random, can you think I I'm am, <laughs> I am, I am. And Apparently I have, we have never met. Okay, would you rather do a random question or try a random snack? Snack, because I can do snack. that easier. Okay, so this is going to blow your mind. She hasn't seen this. I just found out about these and my mind was blown. So they you make... What are you giving me first? I don't want to be all constipated. So it's chocolate, but it's not made with chocolate. It's made with coffee. So You this. are a coffee lover. I am. So it's a bar that's like a chocolate bar, but it's made 100% from coffee beans. I do love coffee. And they make, they make, um, here, try that. Okay. So they make, um, like an actual, like, Nutella spread that's just coffee. A what spread? It's like Nutella, but it's oh, with it's coffee beans. beans. Okay. So... I don't know. I think it's really good. It's kind, of, it's kind of like a dark chocolate, but it's not like coffee. No, 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 right now. Ooh. And I'm still. Oh my god! It smells like coffee. I'm still getting my digestive system going. I it smells like. I be very careful. It smells like Barnes and Noble. My show. It smells like Barnes and Noble. Ooh, it looks like chocolate. So I got this at Sprouts, <laughs> and they have like different ones. They have like Brazilian, Colombian, Ethiopian, Italian. So what do you think? If I close my eyes, this is someone that has to have creamer in her coffee. So, what do you think? If I close my eyes and I just sit there and let it melt in my mouth, it's like <laughs> if I was sitting in a Barnes and Nobles, nice and warm, and that smell. Yeah, but it's kind of like chocolate, right? It's exactly like it's chocolate. It's hundred percent made from coffee beans. You can get me more of these. Right? How cool is that? Right? This is like really cool. <laughs> This legitimately tastes like chocolate. So if you're looking for a cool snack and there's mm. no added sugar or anything, mm. so it's like melting in my mouth. It sounds so we'll so have cool. to leave in the comments like the name of it. So are we fifteen minutes? 
This is oh, like yes. food porn. Yep, this is it for us, so. Food porn. I'm Leslie. I'm Noelle. And we are. Behind the games with coffee. Snacks. Snacks. <laughs> <laughs> ah.